Hi friends, today we will see how to deploy a Flask application on App Angel or on Google Cloud. And this thing is very important. You don't know, like it will give you a power where you can deploy your own website, where you can share your own ideas, you can make your own blogs, you can create your own Facebook, you can create your own Google.com, you can create your own domain and it's very simple because I have seen majority of the people's they do not know how to deploy an application. They do not know how to build a web application or a, how to develop a website. So with now Google Cloud, it is very easy and it is very economical also. For one year, it is free. Google is providing you $300 absolutely free. So why not learn it? And why not use the power of Google to deploy your apps? So. First, I will start with a very basic application that is a Flask app. So just stay tuned and I am sure that you will learn the one thing that is very important in this market, your own website. So now let's see how we are going to so create an account on Google. The first thing that I'm saying is create an account on Google cloud. It's absolutely free for one year. They will credit you $300. You have to give little bit of details like your credit card details or debit card details and they will not even use a single rupee without your consent and for one year it is free like around 20,000 rupees will be credited in your uh, Google Cloud account. So just make sure that you have a cloud account Google Cloud account and everything else I will take you there. So just create a Google Cloud account and create a project. So project means what if you click on new project. So you can create a new project with any name. So I have already created a project, so I will not create a new project. So my project name is Flask Login Demo Netset OS. So now let's see how we can deploy a Flask application in five minutes. Just count. I will not take more than five minutes. So just go to this button. If you can see at the top right, so it will open a console like this. It is like a normal terminal only. So first thing, just make sure this is the site name github.com Google Cloud Platform and Python doc sample. So this is the Git repository that you want to clone. So how you are going to clone it. So as you already know, when you go to this terminal of Google, it has all those things installed for you already. You do not need to install anything. Git has already installed. So just type Git and you can see the Git is already installed. So just clone it for cloning it. It the command will be Git C L O N E clone and just go to this site. One more time. I will say you github.com Google cloud platform Python hyphen docs hyphen several. I will give the information in the description also. So don't worry. Do not try to remember it. I will give it in the description. So just go to this clone or download button here. You will see it will come HTTPS or it will give you some address like github.com Google. Just copy this. Go to the terminal back and just copy this command. So what it will do, it will copy the code from GitHub to your local repository in Google Cloud. And that is done. Just go to this pencil icon now, this pencil icon. So in the pencil icon, you will be able to like, you will be able to see your code. So it will take some time to initialize. So wait for the terminal to get initialized. So I will just ls command and here you can see like Python docs CD. Python doc samples. So you are inside this Python doc samples. So here, so inside the Python doc samples, there are many folders, but you do not need to go anywhere else. Go to app engine inside app engine. There is one called flexible go inside flexible and from the flexible, just go search with hello world. So there are many examples like how to deploy a hello world, hello world, Django, Mailgun, Mailjet, and there are like many applications that you can deploy on application engine of Google. So, but we are only interested in Flask app for app now. So I will just go to this hello world and I will show you like how this Flask application is looking like I am opening the three files. So just bear with me for some more time. So like this is your app.yml. So this is like a core part of your application engine. So in, in this, what information is there? Like it is saying runtime is Python environment is flex like it is called flexible engine entry point is like your the main application like main.py runtime Python version that we are using is three S two is not being used after 31st January 2020. So it's better to use Python version three only. And here it's like 
instances like suppose if you have a very big application then you can give instances like 2 4 5 8 or things like that here you can configure your resources also suppose you want two cpus and you want a system with a ram of 10 gb 12 gb so if you have an application that has like more than 10000 users so you can increase or decrease the size based on this configuration so this is very helpful i have deployed some applications on this app engine and the performance is very good i must say very very good even if 10000 or 1 lakh people are using it it will auto scale so this is the power of application engine so for now we are deploying it as a demo purpose only so i am not changing any configuration you should also not change any configuration here just go to this folder so our application will be in cd app engine so i will just make it big so that it will be easier for you to get all those details so cd app engine inside app engine what i have set flexible to so go inside flexible and the application that we want to deploy is hello world cd hello world now there is only a single command g cloud and when you are deploying it for first time then it will ask to set your project id also so there is one more command that is called g cloud config set project and then you have to give the project id also the project id will be this one only so just set because i have already deployed one previously one more time so i have not given that thing but if it asks you for a project id just go just run the command and give the project id as this one only this uh, the thing below the id section so now i will just run the command gcloud app deploy so it will ask me like uh, this will be my url like https fast login demo dot net set os dot app set dot com so this is the url of the application that you want to deploy it is asking for our confirmation yes or no so i will go over yes so it will take around five to six minutes and we will meet when i have already deployed this application oh the deployment is complete now we will just copy this part https flash login hyphen demo hyphen net set os dot app spot dot com and see what is our how our application is looking oh the application is being deployed only in five minutes your own application your own website is ready in five minutes and i don't think so that even a non-technical person who has no knowledge of any programming language will be able to deploy it in google cloud and that is the power of google cloud your application is ready in five minutes but there is one problem this does not have a login would you able to access the facebook or google without the login so this problem is also solved by google itself the cloud itself so for enabling the security let's go to security and from security go to identity aware proxy this is so this identity aware proxy you will be able to add authentication to your application and so if you can see it there is one app engine app so just toggle this button so it will ask this will allow access to app engine app by member listed in the permission panel turn it on as it is on so we have deployed this application you can get this thing so just click on this and just click on add members so suppose i will add myself to the uh, like login so my name is so my application id is sarkum0488 at the rate gmail.com i will add a role like cloud iap and iap secured web app user i will add this and save it so i will be able to access this application with this username so only the users that are added so you can check those users like this user only this user can access your application now let's check how our application is getting authenticated so while you enable all those things you might be if you are enabling it for the first time you might be asked to uh, enable your oauth screen so oauth screen will look like this so just give the minimal details like what is your application name and what it's like it's for external or internal use so it's like uh, very simple just give minimal parameters like what is the name of the application and what is whether you want to use it for external or make internals also so now go to any other browser and just paste it application so as you can see now we have a authentication login page already there so that is very useful so now we will go back to the screen and copy my username and i will come back and paste this and i will enter my password whether to see whether i am able to log in with this credentials or not oh i am able to authenticate just check from your side that 
आर यू एबल टू ऑथेंटिकेट With any user that is not added to the resources, as I have added this resource, so I can authenticate with this user. So, uh, so at last, this is how you can deploy a Flask application, and it's very easy, and it's very easy to authenticate your application also. All those things are provided by Google. And in any case, if you find any problem, just comment me below. I will give the answers to all of your queries. So. Keep watching my channel and please subscribe and like my channel. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. subscribe.